quarantine got me like. Ah! 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 Wait, does the other one sound different? Ah! Same. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another Repop with me. Now, if you couldn't already guess what we might be doing today, today is the day that I finally combine some of my philodendron Florida ghosts. I think I have these two, and I think I have two more that's just in this house. Obviously I've got tons in the shop, but I think I have four in this house right now. These are the biggest two ones that I've got that you can kind of see beside me. You can't see that well. This is quite large. I'll show you them very briefly before I get into what we're gonna do. So I have this kind of big ghost here. If I pop that back, I do have another one that honestly looks a bit shit. That's this one here. It's got much smaller leaves. So we have a bit of a mix. So I thought these would be a really good two ghosts to kind of combine to give me one ultimate mega ghost that I'm gonna mount up a pole. Now I may have to trim it because I'm not happy with this growth. So I might just trim it down. Honestly, I'm just gonna see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the pole and I'm just gonna see where things fall. And if I think I should cut a bit off and take cuttings, then I will do that. And obviously I will prop that for the shop or wherever else, or maybe I can stuff it back into the same plant. I don't know. That's basically what we're doing today. I did ask you guys a few things on Instagram. You know, is there anything you want me to talk about today? Is there any questions you want to ask me? And I, it's not really like a and a but I thought, you know, I'll just go over it. So I'm going to have to turn these because they're kind of like in my face quite a bit. So sorry if that like kind of breaks the frame, but that's a little bit ridiculous. So I have a few things to discuss. Nothing like groundbreaking or anything like that. Just a few things people are asking about. So I'm going to discuss those, but I think I'll put on my gloves first. The first burning question that a lot of people seem to have, and I don't really blame you because it's juicy, is basically what happened to the box of philodendron Florida ghosts that you spoke about, maybe in the last report actually, it could be, it could be around about then. So basically they still haven't come. They still have not arrived yet. I know, wild. At this point guys, as much as I would love to do, you know, an unboxing that is the, basically the car crash of the Florida ghosts that have arrived, because you know they're fucking dead as hell, right? I ordered these guys back in, was it March? Maybe early March? Like, fucking ages ago. <laughs> so, you know they're dead, but um, I don't even think I'm getting them. Now, at this point, they're in UK customs, so they've made it through, but I think... To be honest, stuff like this can happen. It's possible that the box has actually lost the label, you know, off the outside of the box. So nobody knows what it is or where it's going. It's highly likely that, you know, customs agents are probably just going to destroy it. Even though it's box of plants, it's totally legit. It has vital everything. It's just, it's gone. I'm not saying it's not going to turn up because, you know, it might. But honestly, I really wouldn't hold your breath. If it does turn up, honestly, 100% going to film it. You will be the first people to know about it if it turns up. I'll probably put it on my Instagram. But yeah, I think we're probably just going to have to give a pulp on that. Kind of sad. Quarantine roots are on fleek. Oh my God. You know that your quarantine roots are bad when you did them yourself and then that's growing out. That's, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Right, let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take these ghosts out and see what is going on with the root because I actually don't know. Oh, so we're going with an old friend, obviously. <laughs> and I don't know which size to go for. So I've pre-prepared two of these pots because nobody wants to see me put these up a fifth million time. But I basically gonna check the roots on both of these and just decide which pot is better. These are the only sizes I've got. So I guess we'll just see how it goes. I'd like to hope obviously, that the plants are going to fit into the larger one with the pole, but I don't really know. I don't think we're going to know until we get these out, so let's crack on. Let's do this little one first, and I think I had a carrier bag here to try and get the soil in. It's probably not going to work. I apologize in advance. Right, I'm thinking this is going to come out pretty easy. I purposely didn't water this uh, too recently, although I'm saying that the other one's pretty wet, just to make this process a little bit easier, but... We got some root. Oh no, that's not coming out. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I tell a lie to you. I lie to you. It is coming out. Ooh, girl. Okay. Let's, um, oh shit. Okay. Let's put this down here. Sorry. Let me just <laughs> allow you to actually see what's going on. Hope you can see. Yeah, you can. Totally. Right. I'm not usually in the business of disturbing roots too much when I repot, unless I have to but I do think this is one of these situations where I kind of have to. 
So very, very gently just going to disturb this. And we'll see what exactly it's got going on, because obviously it's got some decent roots there, which I would have expected because that's actually the pot. The pot that I've just taken out of is the pot that it came in when I bought it. So <laughs> it's probably got some decent roots. You feel me? First things first, super quickly, people are asking me when the next restock is. And I had one planned very, very soon. I had one planned maybe this weekend or the weekend after, but we're not talking like a big launch. It was basically just gonna be some bits and pieces on the website. So it's probably not gonna be like a big thing, but if you wanna follow me you know, on that, either follow me or follow my shop uh, on the Instagram and you will get the updates that you need. I don't even know how many plants are going up. I've got plenty in the shop, but I'm not really wanting to send out loads at the minute. And that's just because I have a lot going on and I don't have time to do a big launch. I'd rather focus on, you know, growing what I've got in the shop. On that note, actually, this Friday's video, so the video in three days time, is a video that you guys have been asking me since the dawn of time. And I thought, you know what? I've been a little bit nervous about putting the shop on YouTube. I know I've done some unboxings in there, but you can't really see the shop as such. You can kind of see bits of it, but you can't really see it. Um, but a lot of people have been asking me to do a shop tour. So I may have filmed that. That is currently sat on YouTube, ready to go out on Friday. So that's exciting, but I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know what people are going to think. So we will see what happens, but I would love it if you guys would watch that on Friday and tell me what you think, because I know so many people have asked me for that tour. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm a bit nervous. And I guess I'm nervous. I know I've kind of touched on this before in videos, but I'm nervous because I feel like I'm just selling things to you even if I do a tour of my shop. Do you know what I mean? People are just gonna be like, oh, you're just trying to sell us your shop. It's like, well, no, surely my shop will be running right now. I'd have loads of stuff on the website and I'd be actively pushing sales to you. And you know, I'm not about that. I never will be about that, by the way. Obviously, I'm gonna talk about my shop. It's my life, it's my passion, obviously. But generally speaking, I'm not gonna be just selling to you all on this channel all the time or anything like that. So please don't worry about stuff like that. Um, likewise, I worry about stuff like that because I don't want people to take me doing unboxes in the shop or tours in the shop and it just be selling. I guess I'll just see what you all think on Friday. So I'll cross my fingers for that. Right, good route, I'd say. That's enough of uh, the substrate off for me and my liking, but that's kind of good. I'm okay with this. When you say it properly, yeah, that's all right. I'm okay with that. So, mm, where does she put it though? That is the question. A few people have been asking me um, like what I'm doing for a living now and what I did for a living before and games programming and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm assuming a lot of the people are asking that on you. So I guess, you know, why would you know any of what's going on? Oh, hang on a minute. Quick interruption. I, uh, I lazily planted a bit of micans in a pot a while ago and now I'm having to do something else with it. Uh, actually, you know, I might just keep it in the pot, I don't know. So we'll just move that to one side. So if you see a random bit of plant, that's what that is. Oh, this one's kind of staked up. We'll pull that out first. So a quick rundown of what I do slash did do. So originally I went to university and I studied games programming as a degree, which basically means I studied how to program in C++. So C++ is the language that I'm trained in and I was a C++ programmer. I graduated undergrad, I can't remember what year, I'll be honest, not that long ago, within the last five years. And I decided to stay on in education. I did my master's degree. And I did my master's degree in computer games engineering, not computer games programming, but honestly, it's the same thing. It was just at a different university and uh, it had a different name, basically. But it's the same thing. Oh, this substrate is really wet. I'm not liking this. I don't want to pull this because I'm going to fuck it up. You just know I'm going to fuck it up. Sorry if you can't see me at any points, by the way, but I don't really think I can avoid it right now. I'll try and fix that for once this is out the pot, but until then... Oh. So yeah, I studied and I did that. Um, I studied in Newcastle in the UK. That's actually where I'm originally from. I did go to school when, obviously, in, I was in my teens. I went to school in Durham. Um, uh, my God, that won't come out. So I moved here for a job. And my job was with a games company local to here, to Manchester, where I'm currently at. I started on my channel at some point, I think maybe not even that long after I'd moved here, actually. It came quite quickly. 
Um, oh, hang on guys, this is a nightmare. Yeah, you can kind of see the mess. Okay, well shit. Do not advise to film repottings where it's a little bit too much to handle. So basically, we are left with that. <laughs> I mean, call me silly, but I'm pretty sure that'll fit into the larger pot, you know? So we're gonna do that. Anyway, where was I? So I worked for this games company for around about a year. It didn't end well. I left feeling very unsatisfied. I left partly due to the shop and YouTube and partly just due to the fact that I wasn't happy there. After I left, for example, I found out that I wasn't even being paid the same as my male co-workers that did the same job. So that's all I'll kind of say on that. So when I quit, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought, right, I will take a break from now because I was so done. Um, so I just focused on the shop and on the channel for a little while. And as time's gone on, I've basically just made the shop my full-time job and YouTube is kind of in tandem with the shop. I wouldn't say there was maybe one that is more than another because both take up kind of equal amounts of my time, if I'm honest with you. If I'm not doing work on YouTube, I'm doing work on the shop and vice versa. So if I'm not, you know, looking after stock and potting and propagating and doing all that, then I'm probably planning a video, filming a video, editing a video, researching for a video, right? So it kind of takes a lot um, to do those things. Two seconds, guys. Oh, let me just do the... A few people were asking me, you know, what do you make on YouTube? How much money are you making? What do you make in general? And I'm just gonna be totally honest with you because I have no reason to lie to you guys. So this might surprise a lot of people, but I do earn money from the Rare Plant Shop and from YouTube. But basically the only earnings I get from the shop are enough to keep me alive, honestly. So I earn enough from the shop each month to pay my rent and my bills. I take the bare minimum. As it happens, it's actually the same amount that I used to earn when I worked three days a week at the games company before I left. Because I used to work five days, then I had to drop down to four days to run the business. Then it was too much and then I dropped down to three. So I dropped down to three before I left. So I only make enough to literally get buy with the shop. Whatever I get from YouTube, I, yeah, I'm getting a little bit more now than what I was, but that's because I've doubled up the content. Normally, I wouldn't be getting that much. I don't know why people seem to think that I make thousands. I don't, I really don't. So whatever YouTube gives me is just what I treat as not disposable income. It's income aside from rent and bills. So it's not actually including food. I still have to pay for food. So yeah, I, I don't earn a lot of money. I really don't. I know everybody seems to think I do, but I just don't. I'm pretty regular in that sense. Anything from the shop is reinvested. I'm literally just earning what I need to earn. And that is about it, which is frustrating at times. But, you know, if you want to grow anything, you need to reinvest and you need to put in the time and the energy and honestly, the money. So that is what I'm doing at the minute. I earn what I earn. It ain't a lot. And that might surprise people, but it really ain't a lot. Other YouTubers, I know you know what I'm talking about. We don't earn as much, I think, as people think we do. We just don't. So that's that, really. Let me just try and combine these plants. Actually, wait, I need to put a little bit of substrate in the bottom of here. Let's just put a thin layer over those pebbles at the bottom. Right, let's go with that. So let's just decide real quick how we want to do this. Oh, that's not that easy. Okay, well, let's just get the root in. Oh my God. So there's a vine there, so it makes sense to push it that way, doesn't it? But I don't know what happens with this big one. Do I just do it side by side? Do I do it this way? Is that a good way? Maybe that's good there. So the root balls are side by side. How do you even, how do you even? So I'm gonna face, I'm gonna face the pot to me for a second, just so I can actually make this decision. So that can grow there. That can grow really nicely up the side. But it's also the biggest vine, so I want it to be central. We're gonna go with this and come what may, to be quite honest, because I don't know how else I can really position this plant. I realize this is not the best view for now, but I'm really gonna have to keep my hand on this to plant this because it's a fucking nightmare. 
for some reason, uh, I was getting a lot of questions about, you know, how, how you're dealing with your haters and stuff like that. YouTube haters. I think a few people actually asked me this on Instagram this morning. And it's like, oh, so you've noticed. <laughs> I mean, we all get them. I know all the other plan YouTubers will agree here. We all get them. You know, there's always that one person that rocks up, you know, at upload time on the dot just to leave a dislike before the video's even one minute in. It's like, thank you, that's dedication. You must really love to hate me. I don't know. You must be really getting something out of this. But generally speaking, eh, what can you really do? What can you really do? I mean, I more spend the time wondering why people hate me rather than, you know, oh my God, they hate me, how do I deal with it, to be honest? Because by dealing with it, you do nothing, really. You know, if someone leaves a comment that's nasty, either delete it or don't, that's up to you as a YouTuber. I've said this before in my videos. Sometimes I think about, you know, why do you hate me? I've done nothing to you. Generally, my content is very different from a lot of other YouTubers on YouTube, so maybe that's why people behave a certain way towards me, I don't know. I mean, I know I started with the whole rare houseplants thing and it hadn't really took off yet. And I was kind of the first person to do that. So maybe that's it, I don't know. Personally, I've always just done my own thing. I don't really give a shit what anybody else is doing. And I do try and make my content as unique as I can. I try and listen to you guys. I try and do the content that you guys want me to make, the content that helps, you know, the content that lights your fire, whatever have you. So maybe it's just jealousy. I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of shops hating on me right now, pretty actively. If they're not copying off me, they're just hating on me. So that's something pretty prolific that I am noticing, but people have nothing to do, perhaps. I don't know. I don't even know. I give up guessing, I really do. I think I'm just gonna try and pour this in, you know, because I've got a lovely little gap here. Oh God, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Oh shit, son. Right, so this is a hot mess. You can kind of see this. I apologize for not being able to get like the best shots of this, but I'm sure you can kind of see why. I'm just going to see what I can possibly do. I've probably got soil in my hair. I've got an itchy back. It's all going great. That obviously goes up there, right? So we need to attach some stems, I think. That needs to be attached there. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to start just cutting some of this stuff. This is my amazing tape that allows me to keep things on. If I just work out where to cut it. I'm going to cut a few strips and I'm going to temporarily pin just bits of stems to the pole and I might remove some of these afterwards, but it's just so I can actually work with it because this is really, really unruly. It's not even funny. My God. I don't really want to go into haters too much. I know you guys love it when I speak frankly, but for every time I speak frankly, it's, it's kind of whirlwind to be honest, because 50% of people love it and 50% of people just slam me for talking about negativity. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I, I'll tell you one thing, and this is one thing I do know. A lot of people expected when I started, you know, in January, when I said, you know, I'm gonna start swearing on the channel, I'm just gonna start being myself, because that actually is how I am in person. Those of you that either have known me or do know me, know fine well that that's what I'm like. Um, what you were seeing before I started doing that was kind of like, I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of like a version of me that's giving a presentation so yes, it was me in all the videos, but it was just like a, a Disney Channel version of me. It wasn't me. Do you see what I'm saying? And I think when I decided, yo, I'm just going to do this my way. There's no rules here. If I want to swear on my channel, I will. Do you know what I mean? It, there's nothing wrong with it necessarily. As long as you tell people in advance and whatever else, you'll be fine. And obviously a ton of people left, which I totally get. No, no problems with that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people expected that to sink the channel. And in fact, real tea, I know a lot of people expected that to happen. And I think at the minute, people are just a little bit shook that I, I'm saying things and people aren't, you know, they're not hating on me for it because those people have left, right? Those are the people that didn't want me to be swearing, which again, totally get, not bashing it, not bashing anybody that doesn't want to swear on their channel. So don't make any tea out of that. But I'm just saying, I think a lot of people just expected me to, I don't want to say the word fail, but a lot of people really thought I would just fall off the map, I think. And I just think they're a little bit shook that I haven't. And you know, my being true to myself has paid off. And I think that makes me a little bit more 
maybe just annoying to to some people. I'm not I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm not saying I'm just talking about YouTubers or just subscribers or anything like that. So please, 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 nobody read into anything because it's a struggle to try and be honest and then have everybody read into things and then go and run off and you know create a big narrative. So I'm just trying to speak as as you know as chilled as I can here. But why won't they stay here? Jesus Christ. But generally, I think. I think that's it. I think a lot of people are getting very frustrated right now because that shit just hasn't happened to me. I've been myself. I, I did what I wanted to do. I stuck by it, even though each week my subscribers would just drop, you know, pretty quickly. But I stayed true to myself and I'm so proud that I did it. I'm so proud that I did it. I feel better. I feel like me. I feel like you guys understand me more. I feel like you guys know who I am now. I feel like I can actually be honest and just say what's on my mind. I don't feel like I could do that before. So I feel better, but I don't know if people just don't like it. I don't know. Like I have tried to think about this because I get a lot of shit each week. Trust me, trust me, I get a lot of shit. And I wish I could talk about it, but I can't talk about something without it being, I don't wanna keep throwing the word tea around, but you know what I mean. I just can't talk about certain things, but I'm just pleased. I did me, you know what I mean? And you guys seem to, to love it. So I'm happy that I'm myself now. I'm happy that you guys get what I'm about. You know, I'm just happy. So if people are gonna be hating on me, jealous of me, whatever you wanna call it, that's fine, do you, I don't care. Shops, if you're still hating on me, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what your problem is. For some reason, people wanted me to talk about it. I guess y'all have seen the odd comment where it's just like, whoa, where did that come from kind of thing. I've had some great comments. I've got to say, I've had some absolute classics. The best one was when someone threatened to hire a legal team to sue me over the upcoming houseplants video, I think, because there's no way that I could have walked around nurseries in Thailand and not had to sign an NDA or some stupid bullshit like that. And it's like, yo, do you not realize that the Thai nurseries are probably gonna be clapping their hands right now? And I'm just gonna be real and honest with you, of course they are, because I've essentially just sold their stock for them. Do you know what I mean? Shops are gonna watch that and they're gonna go, oh shit, well, if it's upcoming, we'll have to get it in. Why would I be sued? Why, why would I do that? That's just so stupid. Yeah, I think since I've started showing my shop off on the channel as well, people, oh, you can tell, you can tell the backgrounds of the people that are not happy with it. I'll, I'll just say that. You can tell who they are, 100%. Because most people are really curious and they want to see, and you know, when I'm saying, you know, I'll show you the good, bad and the ugly, there's a lot of people that aren't happy about that. How are we, how do you think we're getting on with this? Because I don't know. Does it look good? Because I think this looks like a hot mess an actual hot mess. But some of these petioles are really long, so it's like, well, what can I really do? I think I am gonna have to cut this down ultimately because I know you can't see the whole thing now and I do apologize, but I can't really do much about it. I don't really know how I can secure this because it is unruly. I feel like I have to just let it grow into its own and then we'll see what happens with it because I don't want to start chopping it if it could come good, you know? I'm gonna have to get another bit of tape. I'm nearly out of this tape. How much have I got left? <gasps> Not a lot. I'm gonna keep that as one piece because you never know. What? Honestly, what on earth? I think that's all I can do with that, you know? Let me see if I can move to the side and show you Le Pot there. You see that? Try and rotate it the best I can. I'm very sorry that I can't really show you properly. That's kind of what it's looking like. It's not looking unbelievable, but realistically, when you've got that much around the base, I don't really know what I can do. I don't necessarily want to put it all the way around the pot because it's just the way the pole sits, the way the roots are, everything else. I could actually put way more substrate in the bottom of there. I don't know if you can see. Nope, you cannot. There, I could put a lot more in. But I think for now, I'm gonna leave this and I'm kinda gonna let it come into its own a little bit before I decide what to do. We'll just see. I don't know what the plan is. If you've got a plan in the comments below, let me know. Uh, I'll gladly consider it. But until then, I think that's it for this video. <gasps> when did I do this? When? When did I do this? I'm gonna find that in editing. I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna be like, this is the moment I fucked up. <gasps> okay, let's put her down. 
But that is it for this week's video. Please stay tuned for the Rare Plant Shop tour on Friday. I'm a little bit nervous, but I hope you enjoy it all the same. Please leave requests for any videos, any comments you'd like to make down below. And I will see you guys, well, on Friday, technically. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Bye.